Hello YouTube. So, HoYoverse is giving us a free standard banner 5 star unit in patch 5.0 for the anniversary, as well as we'll be getting that in all future anniversaries to come. So you might be wondering which 5 star unit is worth picking up with this. So to help you with that decision, I'm going to make a standard banner 5 star tier list, ranking them based on which I think are the best standard banner 5 star units. To help you out with that decision. So let's get right into it. Alright, so starting with Chi Chi, she's gonna stay right here in D tier. Chi Chi is one of the worst characters in the entire game, and there's your constellations don't help at at all help out at all. There's pretty much no way for her to be even be worth using in any teams in the future. Her kit is just really, really awful, so I wouldn't even recommend picking Chi Chi, even if you just like the character, I still wouldn't recommend picking her, so she's gonna stay here in D tier. Now Kaching is a pretty is a pretty decent DPS unit in aggravate teams. She's nothing like top tier or anything, but she's pretty solid. She clears the abyss pretty well, so yeah, she's just a solid DPS overall and nothing too crazy, but nothing bad either, so I if you uh, if you don't have her yet, she's a pretty good pick if you are looking for an Electro DPS or you just like the character and want to play her. She's a pretty good pick, either A or B. I'll put her in A tier right now. And her constellations, now her constellations are pretty bad, so if you already have Kaching at C0, I definitely wouldn't pick her. Her constellations are not worth picking up, but... If you do, if you don't have her yet, and you do want to get her at C zero, she's she's okay to pick up. Next, Jean. Now, Jean is going to be probably overall the best pick. She's a Nemo, so she can swirl with the Viridescent Fariner set, and she heals, so she's great with Farina, the best character in the game for generating fanfare and providing your team with a large buff. And she also has good constellations. Her C two will provide attack speed. And her C4 will provide a Nemo resistance shred, so that's great if you're a Wanderer main. Then at C6, she also provides your team with a massive damage reduction buff, so you'll be taking very little damage while benefiting from her massive healing once she is at C6. So she does have good constellations worth picking up over time as well, so yeah, she's just all around probably the best pick. Then we have D. Luke. The Luke is also honestly a really good pick. He's a very strong DPS now with the release of Xian Yun. His plunge his plunge vaporize teams do a ton of damage. He's like actually can be considered a top tier DPS now. So if you like the Luke and you don't have him yet, you want to pick up a strong pyro DPS. Definitely a great pick to pick up the Luke. You do need Xian Yun for him to be strong though. He's Pretty below average at best without Xian Yun, but with her, he is very, very strong, so... I think I'ma put him in S. Very good pickup. Now next, Mona. Right now, Mona is pretty... Kind of underwhelming bad, if I may say. She does provide a very large buff, but it's for a very short period of time, only like 5 seconds. She's good if your team can front load a lot of damage, but there's just other better buffs that most teams can benefit from, even for a short lasting buff for front loaded damage. It's still kind of just outclassed by other things these days. Her buffing does get better with Constellations, with C1 she provides 15% more damage to Vaporize and Melt damage, so if there's ever like a team in the future that does a lot of front loaded forward vaporize or melt damage or anything like that. Mona could be a really good buffer for that. But with the with the teams and characters that we have right now and all of the other better supports they can use, she's not that great. I would say if you have her at C0, maybe just pick up maybe pick her up to get her to C1 just in case she does gain value in the future, but I'm gonna put her in C. I overall wouldn't recommend picking her up. Then Tainari, I'll say he's an A tier pickup. He's a pretty solid single target DPS, but he is very single target lot. 
He can get around his AoE issues somewhat by using characters like Kazuha and Yaimiko that can help out with his lack of AoE, but he himself is purely single target, but the overall strength of his teams isn't bad, it's just not anything super spectacular by today's standards, but it's enough to clear the abyss, and Yasuo, I do believe his constellations are pretty decent as well, if you want to pick those up for him and your Itinerary main, can be worth going for his constellations, so... Overall, probably about the same as Kaching. And then Dia is kind of just not worth using pretty much anywhere. I mean, she's more worth using than Chi Chi, but I would definitely not recommend picking this character up. She's just not good. And her constellations do give her massive damage increases, but even at C6, Dia deals less damage than a C0 Klee, so... Even picking up our constellations isn't going to make her an acceptable DPS, so... I would steer clear of her unless you just really, really like Dia. Uh, so, yeah. And, yeah, well, we have an empty B tier, so I'll just delete that. Then we can just make this B and C, and... There we go, so yeah, this is what I would recommend overall. Jean is the best overall pick. The Luke is great if you're looking for a Pyro DPS. Just you will make to make sure that you pick up Jian Yun for him. The Chingin Tainari, also good pickups for if you want an Electro or Dendro DPS. Mona, she's alright, but not very good anymore, but could be good for some characters in the future. And Chi Chi and Dia, I would just steer clear of. So yeah, that's my list. If you liked this video, please be sure to give a like and subscribe, and comment down below letting me know what character you're gonna get. Thanks, goodbye.